If you're on the hunt for the best B560 motherboard, this video will help you find the right one for you. We've categorized the top B560 motherboards based on features, performance, and value for money. Starting with the best Micro ATX and best Mini ITX B560 motherboards for those who prefer small factor PC builds, then moving to the best budget pick, then the best high end, and for the number one, our top choice, all things considered. For the budget pick, we chose a board that delivers fast memory support, decent I.O., and reliable power delivery. For the high-end option, we looked for boards with exceptional power delivery, multiple M2 slots, good connectivity options, and support for overclocking. Our top choice is the best all-around motherboard that balances all those aspects with excellent value. So let's get started. Price information and all motherboards mentioned in the video are available in the description. Number 5. Gigabyte B560M Aorus Pro Best Micro ATX B560 Motherboard For our fifth pick, we have a Micro ATX Motherboard. For those of you out there who are looking to save some money. Typically, motherboards in this form factor are cheaper, but the manufacturers have to cut corners somewhere. Despite that, the B560M Aorus Pro manages to excel. Starting off with the design, it features a full-on black design with a black PCB and heatsink, and there's the classic Aorus logo on the heatsink. Since this is an Aorus board, you can expect excellent support for RGB. While it's limited by the form factor, that doesn't stop it from looking high-end. Apart from the looks, the board performance is also quite impressive. With their 12 plus 1 VRM design, the board performs exceptionally well and with all 10th and 11th gen CPUs. Impressive power delivery is not something you expect from a micro ATX board, but this is quite the surprising exception. The memory support is quite standard as you get access to four DIMM slots with a maximum of 128GB capacity. As with all B560 boards, it has support for the Intel XMP, so you can easily overclock your RAM speed without any difficulty. In terms of storage support, there are six 6GB per second SATA ports and only one M2 slot. While that is a major downside for those looking for more storage, we reckon most gamers will be willing to let that slide for the lower price. Apart from that, the features are quite standard. You get two PCIe x16 slots and one PCIe x1 slot. There are 10 USB ports on the rear with support for USB 3.2 Gen 1 and Gen 2, respectively. In terms of network support, the board supports Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth. While it lacks Wi-Fi 6E, most people won't necessarily care for that emission. Of course, when it comes to micro ATX motherboards, this gigabyte board faces a lot of competition. There is the MAG B560M Mortar Wi-Fi and the cheaper B560MA. However, if you care about the best possible performance, the B560M Aorus Pro excels in terms of power delivery. In the long run, it is the better buy for that alone. While we don't always recommend micro ATX boards as the best option, they are always a popular choice. This is simply because these motherboards are cheaper, and while they do remove some features, most gamers are willing to forgive that because they just care about the basic functionality. In that case, this board goes above and beyond that, so it's a safe bet. To sum up what we like is the reliable performance, lots of USB ports, the premium build, and the impressive RGB features. On the downside, there's only one M2 slot and it lacks Wi-Fi 6E. Before moving on to the next motherboard, it would really help us continue making more videos if you support us by just hitting the like button and subscribe, or even with a comment so that we know if you like it or if there's something we can do to improve next time. I promise it costs nothing, just a few seconds. So let's move to the next board. Number 4. MSI MPG B560i Gaming Edge Best Mini ITX B560 Motherboard Next up, if you're planning on putting together a compact gaming rig, we've got an ITX option for you. Small form factor motherboards won't be for everyone, as they can be expensive and have fewer ports expansion slots. However, for people who need a mini ITX B560 option, MPG B560i Gaming Edge is the best one. In terms of looks, the design is quite simplistic and minimal. It comes in an all-black design with white accents on the heatsinks. There is also a white dragon on one of the heatsinks, which looks alluring. All in all, the design is pretty nice and fits into almost any color theme build. Apart from the looks, the board performs exceptionally well. It features a 6 plus 2 plus 1 VRM design, which is pretty good for an IDX motherboard. Of course, some might be skeptical about putting a Core i9 in here, but our testing shows that it can handle that easily. However, as this is a B-series board, there is no support for overclocking. In terms of memory, the board features two DDR4 slots. This is the standard for most ITX boards as you sacrifice memory slots for a compact size. Of course, since most gamers only use two RAM sticks for the most part, this should be more than enough. Memory overclocking is quite good and it handles higher end RAM pretty well. Apart from the memory, the storage support is impressive as well. Many ITX boards usually suffer when it comes to storage slots, but there are two M2 slots and four SATA slots. 
Furthermore, there is support for PCIe Gen 4 and Gen 3 if you're running a high-performance SSD. The biggest downside of this motherboard, and of most ITX boards, is the limited number of USB ports. If you're going to connect a lot of devices, which is usually the case for most people, this could be a problem for you. You get Type-A and Type-C USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports and 4 USB 2.0 ports, but that's it for the rear USB. Though there are internal headers for more room, you are better off buying a USB hub to make your life easier. Regarding network support. The board supports Wi-Fi 6E and the Realtek 2.5 gigabyte per second LAN controller. This is the standard for most boards nowadays. The Wi-Fi 6E is pretty fast and will get the job done for you with ease. When it comes to ITX boards, the closest competitor is the ROG Strix B560i. However, the motherboard has been incredibly hard to find since launch and slightly overpriced. So by default, the MPG B560i Gaming Edge is the best B560 option when it comes to ITX boards. To sum up what we like, it packs quite a punch for an ITX board. Premium features all around, aesthetically pleasing design, and impressive performance. On the downside, it's expensive for an ITX board and there are heating issues. Number 3. Asus Tough Gaming B560M Plus Wi-Fi Best Budget B560 Motherboard The Asus Tough Gaming B560M Plus Wi-Fi is ideal for budget-conscious gamers. It comes at a very affordable price, making it a value pick. Even with the low price tag, however, this board has some premium features. Look-wise, the board is quite simplistic. It's a micro ATX board, with a black color theme. It features a black PCB with yellow accents over the heatsink and rear I.O. panel. The black color theme is great, but the yellow accent, even though it looks nice, can be limiting if it does not match your setup. The board feels sturdy and durable, and the overall quality is premium. When it comes to performance, the board features an 8 plus 1 VRM design, and the overall power efficiency is quite decent. While overclocking expectations should be low, it can easily handle higher-end processors. On top of that, it also easily supports the fastest DDR4 RAMs on the market. Talking about accessibility, Asus boasts about its Tough Gaming Alliance ecosystem and easy-to-install motherboards, and this was the case with this board as well. At the time of testing, the board was easy to set up and configure. The built-in ecosystem makes selecting compatible parts easy, and controlling them is also easier thanks to the very simplistic UI of the dashboard. This feature is quite handy if you're a new or first-time PC builder. In terms of storage support, the board comes with two M2 slots. One supports PCIe Gen 4 x 4 but only if you have an 11th Gen processor. The other supports supports PCIe Gen 3 times 4 While all this is quite standard, it's more than enough for the average user. This micro ATX board has plenty of connectivity options, with a total of 16 USB ports, 9 on the rear and 7 on the front. There are two USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports on the rear, and the front panel has one USB 3.2 Gen 1 port with support for four additional ports. When it comes to value, we could not find a better option. The Asus Tough Gaming B560M Plus Wi-Fi has a lot of premium features that the other boards lack. The Gigabyte B560 Aorus Elite AX comes close, but the Tough Gaming can be found for cheaper and manages to match the Gigabyte board and features. In terms of network capabilities, the board supports Wi-Fi 6. Sadly, it does not have Wi-Fi 6E support, unlike our other candidates. Additionally, it supports Bluetooth 5.2. Looking at this, we can comfortably conclude that when it comes to connectivity, this board does not disappoint. All in all, if you're someone who wants a great B560 motherboard but does not want to pay a premium, then the Asus Tough Gaming B560M Plus Wi-Fi board is for you. The performance is almost indistinguishable from other high-end boards. When talking about the best budget B560 motherboard, this one takes the cake. To sum up what we like is the low price, the sturdy build, and the impressive networking support. On the downside, poor VRM design and there are heating issues with 11th gen CPUs. Number 2. Asus ROG Strix B560A Gaming Best High-End B560 Motherboard we all know that Asus makes some of the best Intel motherboards out there. Well, it turns out they also make the best white motherboards as well. Now, if you're a fan of their Strix lineup, you'll be happy to know a lot of them now have a version that has a white design. There are a lot of great B560 motherboards out there. The Tough Gaming B560M Plus Wi-Fi is a good option, and so is the excellent Mag B560 Tomahawk Wi-Fi. However, when it comes to white motherboards, the Strix B560A Gaming is as good as it gets. That's why the Strix B560 a Gaming is an impressive motherboard. Many people already know what to expect with this motherboard, so we won't beat around the bush here. The design is simply very impressive. It features a familiarly large rear panel cover, huge VRM heatsinks, and a big chipset heatsink as well. Both the rear panel cover and chipset heatsink feature ROG branding on them. The rear panel cover also has a customizable RGB zone. For the price, this is a very elegant looking motherboard. This motherboard might just be one of the best white motherboards when it comes to the B560 
platform. B560 comes with its limitations. For example, memory overclocking and overclocking in general is not the best. Even so, this motherboard punches above its weight. You get two PCIe full-length slots and dual M.2 slots, one of which can take advantage of PCIe Gen 4 speeds. You also get access to the usual stuff from Asus, such as the intuitive BIOS and AuraSync. Connectivity features are great here as well. There's not much else to say. When it comes to B560, this is the best white motherboard out there. To sum up what we like is the great design for the price, the classic Aura Sync setup, and the decent VRMs. On the downside, it's expensive for a B560 board, BIOS could be better, and it's not the best for overclocking. Number 1. MSI Meg B560 Tomahawk Wi-Fi, our top choice. The MSI Meg B560 Tomahawk Wi-Fi is our number one pick for the best B560 motherboard. There are many reasons for that. The exceptional performance, the attractive price, and the impressive features. Starting with just the looks, the B560 Tomahawk looks clean with its all-black PCB. Additionally, it features a dark-themed design with a backlit Tomahawk labeled plate and a relatively large heatsink. The overall build is sturdy and durable. You can easily pair this with almost any build, and it will look nice thanks to its simple and minimal design. Secondly, this is an ATX board, so if you're looking for more of a compact build, this is sadly not for you. But on the other hand, if you're going for an ATX build, then this is a worthy candidate. Apart from its simple design, the board does not lack performance. It features a 12 plus 1 plus 1 digital PWM VRM design, which means efficient power regulation and voltage regulation. The well-built VRM design allows for better temperatures. Looking at the memory, this board features four DDR4 slots. The memory size can go up to 128 gigabytes at 3200 megahertz, ensuring you have enough RAM for your heavy tasks. Also, the frequency is overclockable up to 4600 megahertz. Furthermore, the board also supports Intel's XMP, which unlocks the doors for even better performance. Moving on, the MSI Meg B550 Tomahawk Wi-Fi has impressive storage support. It has six 6 gigabyte per second SATA slots and three M2 slots for all your storage needs. Furthermore, it also supports Intel Smart Response technology, which enables the SSD and HDD to work together and perform better, giving you the speed of an SSD with the storage size of an HDD. The board features two PCIe 16 time slots, and it also supports PCIe Gen 4 for Intel's 11th generation and PCIe Gen 3 for Intel's 10th generation. This means you can expect good performance from your GPU and other expansion cards. Furthermore, the board comes with only one HDMI and one display port on the back. This is quite less compared to other high-end options. Talking about ports, the board features four USB 2.0 and four USB 3.0 ports on the back. This means you can use fast-performing peripherals. Apart from the connectivity options, the network capabilities are quite impressive as well. It supports the latest Wi-Fi 6E, which means faster speeds and lower latencies. Compared to other B560 options, the B560 Tomahawk has impressive features. It comes with an affordable price tag and offers exceptional value. The ATX version of the Gigabyte B560 Aorus Pro is a close competitor, but the Tomahawk performs similarly, yet offers better value. To sum up what we like is the impressive performance, the Wi-Fi 6E support, the 3M2 slots, and the low CPU temps. On the downside, it's a little expensive compared to other options. So what do you think? Which of these is the best B560 motherboard for you? Or do you think another motherboard's better for your PC build? Tell us your opinion with a comment. And don't forget to like and subscribe to support us. Have an awesome day.